Hello. I know I'm filming this really late. Okay, so this is Genesis 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth and there was not a man to till the ground but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground and the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted the, a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So this is something that I kind of got a little, um, I didn't really actually hear it when I was growing up. It was, um, he made a tree of life. So, there was the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and there was the tree of life. And the tree of life, if after Adam and Eve had eaten the fruit, um, the tree of life, if they reach out their hand and ate the tree of life, they would um, forever be held in that sin. So that's why God cast them out of the Garden of Eden. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it parted and became four heads. The name of the first is Pison. That is it which compa compasses the whole land of Hevalia. Hevila where there is gold and the gold that of that land is good there is bedlam and onyx stone and the name of the second river is Gihon the name of that the name or the same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia And the name of the third river is Hedekel. That is it which goes toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him, him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded man saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat of it. For in the day that you eat, you shall surely die. And God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he will call them. And whatever Adam called that living creature, that was the name thereof. This is interesting. So, God made a help me. It said God made a help me for him. And then it says he made the beast of the field. So that could be why dogs are our companions, like, a lot of times. But... 
the rear companion for man is not a beast of the field. It is a beast of the human race. And Adam gave names to all of the cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helpmeet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. So I watched a sermon um, by Pastor Bill Randall's from Believers in Grace, so you can look it up, their YouTube channel. Um, but he was saying that the actual word in Hebrew is he took his side and then closed it up. So Adam lost his side. It wasn't just him. So maybe his belly was like originally very fat then became really skinny. I don't know. <laughs> that would be weird. Oh gosh. No, I think I think he formed the side again. Because we have sides. Either that or Adam had no side for the rest of his life and um, his children just did. Got a scock and a bunch of necks for that. That would be interesting. Put that in the movie. That'd be weird. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made a woman and brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall join to his wife, and they shall be one flesh. That's Adam saying this. I think, I think, yeah. It looks like it's Adam who's saying, Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother. Oh gosh, just... Close advertising. No, I didn't want to go there. That didn't want to. And they were both naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. So that is Genesis. Like, this is when everything was perfect. There was not, um, I don't think there was, like, bitter colds where you had to be cold, where you had to have clothes to keep the warmth against your skin. I've actually heard that, uh, from the bright side, that you should, or when you're sleeping, it's better to be colder when you're sleeping. Yep. Because it helps you get deeper sleep. So, I hope this was helpful for you. And, um, you tell me what is the best part of this chapter you think I think it's interesting that God formed us out of the dust of the ground he formed man out of the the dust of the ground um, and like first he caused the animals to be made um, from the ground like he spoke and it happened but now it's not so chaotic with women they 
he got down on the ground and he formed man out of dust. And like, I think if scientists had listened to the Bible and taken it to heart, they would be like, oh, we're made out of little tiny things. We're not made out of, we're not perfect. We're not, you know, rubber things. We're made out of little tiny things. And the whole world may be made out of little tiny things. That would be interesting. Somebody finally did. Anyway, see you all later. Eat all the potato chips in the world.